Right, everybody ready to go? All right, well, good morning. Appreciate everybody being here. Um, you know, excited to get back and you know, you know kickstart for uh, for spring practice. Um, you know, being able to, to wrap up you know our winter program uh, there uh, on Friday before spring break. Um, you know, really proud of our team. Proud of the work that they've invested. Um, really proud of, of the strides that I've seen them take. And uh, yeah, I know I mentioned after the tour duty workout. Uh, you know, it was one of the best best winter programs that I've been a part of, and you know we've got. Uh, I know we've had you know a good number of uh, uh, starters that, that graduated, or, or you had an opportunity to go to the to the NFL or in the process of going to the NFL. Um, you know, it's last year's team, but we do have a lot of returning experience. Uh, I think we have over 80 guys that that were on the roster um, that were carried over here into this uh, into this new year. Uh, you know, being able to have. You know, over 20, I think it was 23 newcomers that joined the program in January uh, that have really done a, done a remarkable job of, uh, you know, transitioning in. Uh, you, know, you know, we felt really confident in who we were, who we were bringing in the program. Uh, but really, uh, you know, throughout the last eight weeks, I mean, they've, they've proven that this is a place that they belong. Um, and, you know, obviously excited about what they bring uh, you into uh, into our team, whether it was the high school freshmen that, that were able to, to join in early or, or some of the transfers that have come in. Uh, just definitely a, a, a great group and, and like the work ethic and uh, just the, the relationships that are that are being built uh, within within that uh, a group of young men. Uh, you know, definitely want to give a shout out to uh, Coach Storms, you know, his, his staff. Uh, I thought they were uh, put together a, a great winter program. Um, you know, with all the things our guys were doing in the weight room, um, you know, what they were doing on the field, you, you see in the body weights, uh, you are, are uh, uh, Jaden uh, and our nutrition nutrition team has, has done a, a great job with our players, uh, continuing to, to, to build them. Uh, some guys that needed to gain, I think you got guys like Pat Payton, I think put on close to 15 pounds here uh, in the winter program. Uh, some guys that needed to lose a little bit, you know, did a good job of, of being able to, have, you know, to find that uh, that balance. But you just seeing seeing the body types uh, continue to grow. Uh, you know, I, one of the things I'm most pleased with is when you look at the overall you know average of our team. I mean, it, it's the strongest we've been. Uh, you know, in, in any of our time here as a team average for what, you know, there was, you know, we had, which is stay, saying a lot when you look at the, the age of our team. You know, we've got uh, some, some young guys that have really come on, uh, you know, and we had some, some very explosive and powerful players that, uh, uh, that graduated through, through the program. But, I mean, our, our team average in, in, in bench, squat, power clean is, is higher than what it's been. And uh, you know, that gives me a lot, of, a, a lot of excitement and confidence in the work that these guys have done. And uh, you know, but now it's time to transition that out to the field. And you know, they've uh, they've accomplished what we needed to accomplish through the tour of duty workouts. Uh, I think that uh, the mindset, the approach is is where it needs to be. But now it's time to go and and uh, and push and get better. And that's going to be our focus as we jump into spring. Uh, a lot of new a lot of new opportunities for guys. You know, some guys that have. Uh, that have been here, some guys that have played at a very high level, uh, that are that are looking to take another step, whether it's in their leadership role, whether it's you know guys that have been in a rotation looking to establish themselves as as frontline starters, uh, and then some guys that are looking to to make their mark as as newcomers into the program, whether it's a freshman, and I'll tell you this, the freshman group that's that started here in January, I mean it's an exciting group. They can run, uh, you know. Uh, overall, just uh, I think. You, and I know you guys got most of you that were here uh, for that tour duty work. I mean, you see speed, you see explosiveness. I mean, this is a this is a fast group that we have. Um, you know, I would say that this is uh, you're probably the fastest uh, you you know, team that we've had here. Um, you know that uh, you're coming in, uh, but uh, you know now it's time to translate that to, to practice. It's, it's to translate that into uh, you know, you know, all all different uh, you know, phases, whether it's offense, defense, special teams within the position groups uh, to to continue to grow and, and develop the. Uh, the, the depth, but also the playmaking ability, uh, and who's going to who's going to separate themselves uh, you through this through the through the competition of what spring practice has, uh, and uh, you know for us to continue to challenge these guys to help them understand what they can do and what they can accomplish. So uh, definitely excited about it. Uh, you know, you know uh, I think it's also to to be mentioned, and that this was actually sent to me the other day. Uh, when you look across you know college football, you know the continuity of our staff um, to. As head coach and the ten position coaches, uh, you know, sent to me. I think it's I think it's one of five, uh, if I believe I'm right on that. You know, five teams in the United States of America that returned all ten position coaches and the head coach. 
and I mean that's that's a that's a that's a big accomplishment for us uh, in what we're in what we're doing. Uh, it's one tremendous uh, support from our from our administration, and there were guys that had opportunities, but their belief in in what we're doing and where we're going uh, is something that I'm I'm definitely proud of, and with what we get to represent. So. Uh, you know, with with that, having that continuity and uh, you know, continuing to to push and grow as a as a as a coaching staff, uh, you know, I think we've done a, done a nice job uh, you know, throughout the throughout the winter program ourselves and in our quality control, seeing areas that we have to grow and get better, and uh, we're all excited for the work that's ahead. Yeah, I mean it's uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna push and uh, you know there's uh, you know we have some new faces we have some some new guys we have but we also do have some experience and and you you look at you look at up front I mean uh, you know with the offensive line usually that's the one that you know you know, kind of jumps out you know we all know quarterback I mean that's gonna you know with DJ coming in you know Brock Luke and Trevor I mean that that group there's gonna be a lot that's thrown on them um, you know we're gonna manage that well but you know also want. I, I want them to be uncomfortable in some regards. I want them. I want them to to feel that 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 push and that urgency. But uh, you know, it's it's going to be a big fundamental focus, uh, you know, for us. But you know, it's also about uh, you know, making sure that we get the the repetitions necessary um, to to see where we are, to kind of see some of the things that that. Uh, uh, that we take too well, and you know, to have a coming out of spring ball of you know, where those, where does that continued investment in in these players' own time, or as we get into the summer, uh, in in continuing to guide and direct the work, you know, all leading up to to where we need to be for you know August twenty fourth, and that's that is you know, it it always comes down to the day, it comes down to the individual you know work that we have to to continue to get better, but everything has got to fit within the process of of where we need to be. Uh, come August, and so uh, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to see this group compete, and uh, uh, you know, offensively, I do want to see them be somewhat uncomfortable. And uh, you know, I, it's uh, so we're gonna we're gonna not pull all the way back, but uh, you know, we're gonna you know, we we definitely need to to make sure that foundation is set the right way as we as we do move forward. Next question will be Chris on your left front row. Good morning, Mike. What has impressed you about DJ since his arrival, and also in that quarterback room? his experience last year how has he taken that and springboarded into the spring no I mean I think they're, they're, those guys are, they're they're great young men and uh, you know when you said uh, that's what being on a day-to-day -day basis with them uh, work ethic uh, relationships you know the, their care about who, you know, who they get to do it with um, you know the investment that they're making you know on their own time to, to to grow and to get better and you know that's that's something that you know, I, I expected when D, when DJ joined the program, um, and you know he definitely hasn't disappointed, and he's really uh, come in. I think he's earning the earning the respect of his of his uh, teammates. You know, really with who he is, and uh, you know, obviously what he can do, uh, and then you know with with uh, you know Brock with you know having that time at the end of last year. You know, he faced some adversity. You know, with the injury that he experienced, uh, you missing a lot of practice time during the season. Uh, you'll be kind of getting thrown, you know, you're thrown into the fire there, there late. I mean, he is, you know, I love his makeup. I love, I love just, uh, you know, the, the mindset of, of what he brings, you know, the attitude that he takes uh, in good moments. And then he's, he's experienced some, some real challenges and, uh, you know, he just continues to push and get better. Um, you know, I think he's had a great winter program. He looks really good in, in what he's doing physically as he's growing. Uh, you know, you can see the confidence mentally in, in what he's being asked to do and in, in just in our meetings and, uh, you're really looking forward to his his spring as well, and you know you you take two guys, and you know Brock's still really young. Obviously, he's a you know, redshirt freshman, but um, you know for a couple of, of true freshmen that are joining, uh, you know you know coming into the program, for them to have those examples of guys that have been here, uh, you know, and and you know, obviously with DJ and just the experience he has within college, I mean I think it's a really good group and uh, you know a great quarterback room to to be able to work with. Let's take it here for Brendan. On defense, you guys. There were so many veterans on last year's defense that were really good players as well. Uh, lose a lot of that leadership and experience. Because how do you go about replacing them who are guys who, who have to step up in that regard? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the, the great thing about our defense last year is, you know, we had some some ex exceptional players and some great stars, you know, in and just in college football in general. But uh, um, you know, we played a lot of a, a lot of people, and you know, we played on 
you know, close to 24 guys that, that really were active in the role um, with what we were doing. And so even though there's some, some tremendous players that are, that are you know, leaving the program, uh, great opportunities. You know, guys like Shy, uh, you know, Cheyenne Brown, uh, Pat Payton, Josh Farmer, DJ Lundy, Fentrell, Azaria. I mean, you know, you sit there and you see those guys of, of what they've been able to do and what they've been able to accomplish. I'm excited about Daryl Jackson. I mean, when you see him and just the continued growth that he's had uh, with his body and, and the work that he's put in, um, you know, it's it's a group that's played a, a lot of football, but now they're in a, a little bit different role. I mean, they're they're pushing to the front. They're they're trying to take that next step when it comes to a leadership. Uh, um, you know that capacity of, of their uh, of their role, and I mean, and you see them getting better, and that's something that you know I, I've been pleased with. But also, you know, you, you have you know some some newcomers that have joined in. There's great competition. I think when you look at our defensive backfield, and that, that that's going to be one of the the fun groups to watch of who uh, you know who's going to continue to emerge because I know we have talented players back there, uh, speed, length, you know, athleticism. Um, but who's going to be able to show up and consistently, you know, you'll be in the right place at the right time, going to make the play when the, when the opportunity uh, presents itself. I mean, it's a, it's a very talented group. Same thing on, on our defensive front. You know, as you see that, you know, uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing some of those, those, I would say younger defensive linemen, you know, how they're going to, how they're going to, you know, to rise up and compete with, uh, with, with the guys that we have that might have a little bit more experience, you know, out there on the field, um, you know, to see them take those next steps. And, you know, you really can go through all the positions because the same story at linebacker, you lose two great linebackers. Uh, DJ Lundy has been, uh, you know, he's played so much football here, but I think he can really, you know, take another step to, to being a really special player, you know, here at Florida State because you know, he's done some great things and then, you know, he's got some, absolutely has some talent around him uh, to, to help kind of, kind of push that, uh, that linebacker room. All right, we'll go to Matt, second row on one. Hey, Mike, uh, you talked about the administrative support in terms of the staff continuity. It's pretty obvious when you see all the construction going on around here. Where in your, your mind has kind of that administrative support shown up the most or the most important areas that's shown up? I mean, I think you see the the uh, in, investment into the program. Um, you know, just the things that we're doing from a facility aspect, uh, the things that we're doing. You know, helping um, you know, support our student athletes on a day to day uh, you know, basis. I mean, whether uh, you know you, what what you see in the technological advances that we've had. I mean, it's something we put a lot of uh, um, you know priority on and making sure that, that how we're teaching, what we're doing, the the um, the efficiency, the effectiveness, the continuity within the staff. I think that's something that's really big. You know, and, uh, you know, we were very proactive, um, you know, throughout the season, you know, trying to, to be in position that, you know, when the season, uh, you know, was over with that we were able to, to retain, retain, you know, our staff. We've got some tremendous, you know, tremendous coaches, tremendous leaders, um, you know, being able to, to have all 10 guys at, at the position coach at position, a lot of guys in support roles that, you know, even turn down opportunities to, to go be position coaches. And those, that's, that's exciting for me because guys, guys believe in what we're doing. Um, you know, they see growth, they see personal growth, personal development. Um, and, you know, we're, we're, we're all pushing, you know, the, in that same direction together. Um, but, you know, that wouldn't happen without the, the administrative support uh, and belief in, in where we're going. And then, you know, obviously you know, what, what we're doing all around. I mean, you see, you see the stadium, you see the football facility. I mean, those are, those are big steps and they're, they're, they're necessary steps. But, uh, you know, being, being able to get that, uh, you know, uh, I, mean, I guess, you know, pushing forward was something that was, was big. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely grateful for that. Losing Keon and Johnny, even Jaheim, a big part of the, the receiving game. I mean, I guess, what are your impressions of that room going into spring? Seems like you've got, I mean, not a ton of experience, but a ton of viable candidates who could really push the plan out. Yeah, we've got guys that have, that have played, I mean, they've played a good amount. And, you know, you look at that room, um, you know, all. All guys that have, that have had moments and, and you know, have showed up big. Now it's about the consistency and and uh, you know taking that next step. And you know when you look at uh, you know Kentron, I mean he's he's played since he was a, you know I guess a, a freshman since he's been here. So he and he's had some really good moments. Um, you know want to see him take take another step. You saw you know even a freshman like Hakeem last year. You know Destin, uh, those guys. Uh, you know uh, Vendravis Jacobs. I mean all had really bright moments last year. You know, guys like Darion Williamson, that, that, you know, Ja'Kai, who's really been just a, a utility knife for us. Um, but now, you know, 
it's time for him to take another step. And I thought, you know, even in the bowl game last year, you know, all the things that the guy had to do, I mean, it just showcased his versatility. And then now you add in some, some you know, uh, uh, different elements with, you know, Malik Benson, somebody I'm really excited about, Jalen Brown. I mean, guys that, you know, you feel the speed, you feel the explosiveness, um, coupled with the guys that have already been in that room. I mean, it's uh, – it's gonna be a fun, fun, uh, fun group to watch, and then you know, even uh, you know, Camden Fryer has been been really good. I mean, I, I've been excited about him. B.J. Gibson, you know, some of those freshmen that have come in. You know, we'll kind of see where they are once it uh, everything gets gets going full speed at us. But uh, you know, I, I think it's a it's a talented room, and it's one that there's gonna be a ton of competition. And you know, looking forward to seeing the cream kind of rise to the top. No, it's not. I mean, that's not for anything for our players to be concerned with. I mean, right now it's it's about today. It's about the opportunity that we have and to go get better. All right, that's going to be Corey, Dr. Omar. Yeah. Going back to the, excuse me, last year you obviously had two very good ones, but you, you didn't take a lot of shots downfield with their speed necessarily. Is it going to be a, can it be a different offense because of the speed element that you necessarily didn't have last season? Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that, that you know, obviously we, we know that's one of those areas we have to be better at. And uh, you know, we want to make sure that we're capitalizing on stretching the field vertically. Uh, you know, we feel like the, you know, what we do horizontally is uh, uh, you know, pretty good. But, uh, yeah, we, we definitely want to want to see that element grow in our offense. And, you know, I do think that um, we've had a, a focus on that and, and the guys that we brought in. And, you know, I haven't been disappointed through eight weeks and just watching guys move and run. And, you know, now it's time to go out there and, see how we can, can continue to build upon that through the course of, uh, of practice. And, you know, because each year is going to be a little bit different. And, you know, when you look at, uh, you know, what our guys can do, it you know, always starts in the quarterback room and, and, and obviously up front. But then, you know, being able to, to spread from there, I mean, I, I like the, the physical makeup of, uh, of this offense. And, uh, you know, we've got to go be consistent with it and, uh, and work to go, you know, be able to put on display. Jerry, second row on your right. Coach, it's been said that it, when his football season ends, that team is, is done, and you start building a new team for the next year. What are those things that you're looking forward to seeing uh, as this team identifies itself? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, who are, who are they willing to be? Um, you know, everybody wants to be you know, successful. Everybody wants to, you know, put themselves in a position to compete for a championship. I mean, well, you know, what are, what are you willing to do to make that your reality? I mean, I like this group. I like the team that, uh, uh, that we have. I really, you know, love the young men, their mindset, their heart, their, the, the passion they bring uh, in, in wanting to, to, to get better. But, uh, you know, through, through good times, through challenging moments, through, through success that we'll face, I mean, where do they go uh, at that point? And you get one shot at it. You know, same thing we talked about, you know, last year at this time, uh, you know, that 23 team had one shot, had one opportunity. And, uh, you know, I thought they did a lot of great things. Uh, you know, now you turn the page and, you know, from the, the minute we got back in January, uh, our, our focus is to fight to get better and, to, to, you know, just to, to fight to build relationships, to fight to, for the identity of what this team is going to gonna be. And, you know, you have new faces, but you also have guys that uh, – you know, some guys that, that that weren't really even in a position to start shaving, and now you're seeing you know you're seeing the hair starting to come in on their face. The the the, the, the bodies are, are growing up. Uh, you know, I'm I'm excited about this about this team, and I'm excited about the group that that we have in store, and it's going to be a heck of a lot of competition. Go to Aslan in the back. Have you started to integrate any kind of concepts that EJ might prefer and like, or when you guys go through the spring? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a, a lot of things that you, know, you look at every at every quarterback. I mean, DJ Brock. I mean, uh, your know, things that uh, you know, I've got a pretty good sense of what they do, and we've got a lot of versatility and 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 how we operate and, and the things that we uh, that we have done and things that uh, you know. From two years ago, you know, we were a, a, a little bit different last year than what we were two years ago, and just tying it to different skill sets of players that we had, and you know, that was even with the same quarterback. And so you you, you always look to to grow and implement different uh, different elements of 
uh, towards their game. So, you know, we'll get into spring. I mean, there's some things that we know that we want to continue to prove upon. You know, we talk about the vertical passing and we talk about, uh, um, you know, some of the things that can, can help showcase, you know, the guys that we have up front in the backfield. Um, you know, I think that's going to be a really good group. And so, uh, you know, I'm looking forward to how this offense can, can come together. And, you know, as, as those guys, uh, you know, showcase, you know, maybe areas of comfort but, or areas of, of great success, we'll, you know, we'll definitely continue to build upon it. No, I mean, I think they're great young men. They, they, they definitely, you know, we talk all the time about finding, uh, you know, the right fit for Florida State. And, um, you know, we want, we want guys that, yes, talent, playmaking ability, uh, you know, the skill set, you know, they're, they're, you also, you obviously have to have that, but, you know, making sure that you have guys that, uh, that care about others, that, uh, that want to be a part of this program, you know, more than just putting on the jersey. They, they want to, they want to build the relationships. They want to be able to make a positive impact for those that are around them. I think that's big. And, um, you know, it's, it was funny, you know, I could, you know, Jermaine and, uh, uh, you know, Jared were downstairs just a little while ago and, you know, just seeing those guys interact. They never played together, you know, here at Florida State, but, you know, they, you know, they're both Seminoles. And, you know, Jermaine coming off an all pro season, he's here for one year, but, you know, when it's off season, this is where he lives, this is where he trains, this is what he does. And, you know, seeing those guys even interacting, it's just, it's, it's really special for me because, you know, both those guys were transfers that came in, uh, but both those guys forever will be Florida State Seminoles because of the personality, because of the mindset, because of the, uh, you know, the same things we're talking about with, with this group that has come in. And, and it doesn't, you know, you know I, I know it, I guess the spotlight gets put on it when it is a transfer, but it's the same thing for a high school, you know, player that comes in, you know, seeing uh, – Seeing those guys and the way that they've transitioned, you know, the Jamari Howards, you know, uh, you know Charles Lester. I mean, it, you know, all those, all those guys. I mean, you have twelve newcomers that joined, uh, that you know, graduated early, and now they're now they're you know putting their mark on on this program. And when you see the the, the heart that they bring, you see the relationships that they're starting to, to form. I mean, it's it's exciting. kind of following up on that with 40 percent of the new roster how do you kind of foster that brotherhood and foster relationships amongst the players in just a short period of time it's only been eight weeks since January since I came in well you know it's it's one of those things that you, know, you look at it a year ago and it really was about the same percentage I mean, we had roughly 30 I think it was 34 newcomers a year ago and uh, you know it's almost the dynamic of it when we've, we've been about 65 percent high school players have come in and about 30, 33 percent of the newcomers have been uh, have been transfers, and so we when you look at when you look at how that's kind of all come together, it's really a very similar number here this year, and uh, you know I think that's probably working towards you know a, a, the, the new age of college athletics, uh, you know with the change and with the transitions, but it's just it's about being right, and you know I, I, there's plenty of people that have taken more transfers, and people point to ours because ours are good. Like they, they do a great job when they get here. They, they make impacts. Um, but you also see the development of the young guys and, uh, that, have, that have been here and grown. Like you look at Josh Farmer, you look at Pat Payton. I mean, those are guys that, that have come in and you know, for whatever the expectation from the outside was, I mean, we got great players. And you know, both those guys, they, if they wanted to hear their names you know, called on draft day, they, they could have went out this year. Uh, they chose to come back, and I think they have a chance to do something really special. Uh, and they've they've grown up. Cheyenne Brown's and not you know another one. You can sit there, Lawrence Toafili. I mean, Marie Smith, Darius Washington. I mean, a lot of guys that that have that have grown through this program. You know, you talk we talked about a bunch of the receivers. That's exciting to me. And then you bring in you know the, you know some of the guys that have uh, you know maybe a little bit different path. I mean, you know some of the transfers that have joined the program. It, it's still about the right fit. It's still about you know making sure that you can those guys can all you know merge together, uh, and and like I said, are they willing to fight for this team? And uh, when you have that, then you can do something really special. We got time for a couple more. We'll come back to Chris on the front row. Health wise, is there anybody you expect to miss the entirety of the spring in general? Pretty oh, different. I'll probably get into that maybe here here as we get into the probably let the first week kind of go and see. There's there's a few guys that will be uh, limited. Um, 
there might be a few that that uh, will be out, and I'll probably I'll probably let you y'all know that here as we get uh, uh, through it. I don't I don't want to make a make a statement of somebody missing and then a chance for them to come back. So let me let me kind of see how that goes within the first week. But there will be a, a, a few guys that will be uh, uh, limited and could miss you know you know all of spring and but fully expect everybody to be ready to go for for summer and as we get get going for the uh, for the fall. Corey, we're talking about this season coming up, but how rewarding and gratifying was it for you as a head coach to watch what happened at the Combine in Indianapolis with your players? Um, just how rewarding and gratifying was that? No, I mean, it was uh, it was huge. I mean, those guys, you know, I think any any young, you know, you know, football player that uh, you always dream about the opportunity to go to the, the Combine, to get a chance to, to be on that stage and, uh, you know, hopeful to perform to a high level but I think it's a uh, it's a great compliment to those young men I mean they 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 were outstanding in their performance it, it was definitely a, a statement for their training uh, for you know coach storms you know the the, the staff that we have here um, that have helped pour it into them during their their time here at Florida State um, and then you know obviously the work that those guys have put in I mean they were they were ready when their number was called and uh, you excited about the feedback that we've gotten um, you know, it was a, you know, when you send twelve guys to the combine. It's a it's a great number, and, and you know even guys that did a couple of the guys that didn't go to the combine. You know just the you know, the the feedback we're hearing on them. So uh, I think it's going to be an exciting draft for our uh, for our players, and uh, you're definitely looking forward to wherever wherever that number, wherever they're drafted, wherever they're selected, whatever team it is, uh, to see them you know continue to progress and uh, you know go make the most of their uh, professional careers. Kind of you know it's been well earned. I mean, I think, I mean, yes. I mean, you look and you see the, the, the depth, the, um, the ability, you know, that it's going to, that's a, that will be one of the great teams that, uh, you know, that is, is remembered. And, you know, we have a, we have a outstanding a challenge in front of us to go and, and get better here in 24. I mean, that's the, that's our focus. We want to, we want to take those steps. We want to continue to improve, uh, but it was the, the work and, and the foundation that was left by those guys that, uh, that, you know, allows us to, to, to look at that moving forward. But yeah, that, that team will, will always, uh, in my mind, be celebrated as one of the all time greats. And, you know, we can, we can look it to the end and how it, and, and, you know, how it, how it all finished. But, uh, you know, that it was definitely a special team that, uh, will forever be celebrated. All right, thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.